The John Moore Show, episode 106. In this episode, should you learn PHP versus Python or Django or Node.js? The John Morris Show, your life on code. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Morris. Hey everybody, welcome back to The John Morris Show on johnmorrisonline.com. Now, for those of you who've been around a bit, you know that I used to be in Al Bundy. I've talked about this before. Yes, I will come clean. I used to sell shoes, which by the way, I was pretty darn good at. In fact, I remember once I sold $8,100 worth of shoes in a week, which was crazy for the chain that I worked at. Now, anyway, of course, in the store, we had all sorts of different shoes, as you might imagine. And most of us who worked there were in love with the brand Echo, you may or may not have heard of. And the reason was they were just a really high quality brand. And most importantly, they were really, really comfortable. In fact, the shoes that I wore every day to work at the store being on my feet eight, 10 hours a day were a $150 pair of Echo dress shoes. And I love those so much that I even spent $200 on a pair of Echo Casual shoes that I wore everywhere else, which spending $200 on a pair of shoes was something before that I never thought that I would do. Now, of course, we also had the other end of the spectrum, which were the shoes I despised. And those were typified by the Adidas Superstar. And I just flat out, I could not stand those shoes. They just look like boats on people's feet with their stupid little plastic toe. I don't know. To me, I know people loved them, but I just thought they were plain ugly. But everybody wanted them. And I sold more of those stupid shoes than I ever care to admit because, this is the important part, that's what the people wanted. And that is generally my same opinion on PHP versus Python or Django or Node, whatever. Now, it might be 100% true that Python or Django or Node or whatever is a superior language to PHP. And you and I could probably debate that until we're blue in the face. And you might be right that PHP is garbage. I mean, at the end of the day, who knows really? But I do know one thing. The people want PHP. In fact, I looked it up just today and PHP's market share is estimated at 82% of all websites whose server side language we know. And probably the ones we don't, we could say that it's close. That is just fact. And no amount of owning people about how rotten you think PHP is or calling people stupid for using it is going to change that fact. Now, I couldn't stand those ugly little superstars, but I'd have been out of a job quick if I refused to sell those superstars to the people that wanted them. Now, look, it's it might be, again, 100% true that Python or Django or Node.js or whatever are valued more. So if you learn them, it's entirely possible that if you get a job, you would make more. But it's also probably true that you might find it more difficult to find a job with those languages because there's less people looking for it. So, and it's more competitive. Or you might find it more difficult to have a steady flow of clients who want projects built using those languages because they're simply not as popular. And it's also probably true that those languages could fade away into oblivion in the next 10 years and never hear from them. Now, is that likely? No, but they could, and probably not too many people would really notice. Now, yes, that could happen to PHP too, but PHP is so embedded into the fabric of the web that if PHP dies, it'll be a slow 
painful death that you're going to see coming and that you can adjust to. Those other languages, eh. So, should you learn Python or Django or Node or whatever? Sure, why not? But also make sure that you learn PHP because you'll likely encounter people who want it. Now, if you'd like to learn PHP the easy way, then head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash PHP and enroll in my brand new PHP 101 course. All right, that'll do it for this episode of the show. Thanks for watching. If you like this episode, be sure to like it so that I know that you like this kind of content. If you know somebody who'd benefit from it, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with them. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.